Heather Sugg here at FinTech Futures. We're here with Andrew from Amiga and Mark from Tangerine, here to talk about what's going on in Money 2020. So, gentlemen, tell us about your partnership. Uh, our original partnership was around the ability to actually categorize transactions in real time into our core banking experience, and then since then, we've continued to work together to actually build out some innovative features into our core banking offering. So, Left to Spend is one of those, so a smart spending application for our customers. Uh, we've built out a goals module so our customers can actually save towards aspirational goals they have. Uh, and then recently we actually were at Finnovate together and we launched uh, recipes. So this is the first foray into programmable banking. So the ability for customers to, based on specific events, have money move in their, in, in their banking experience. So if the Toronto Raptors win, uh, they can actually move money from their checking account into their savings. Uh, just as one example. How have your customers reacted to the new offering and how's the adoption looking? So, so Tangerine has actually been around since 1997. Uh, we have two and a half million customers. Uh, these digital features are relatively new into our core offering, uh, but those that are actually using them turn out to have 88% you know, payroll penetration, uh, a lot more accounts uh, with us. They tend to be more primary banking customers. Uh, so definitely leading towards the types of relationships we want with Canadians. Uh, and also we see their spending behavior as actually being positive spending behavior and actually more, much more aspirational towards savings. How did you find the fit between your companies culturally? We started working together a few years ago. Uh, I was involved in that process with Mark and the team. Uh, and yeah, it just instantly felt there was a lot of cultural fit, I think not only between the companies, but I think just the culture of Canadians and the companies based out of Iceland. They just really felt just like a, the strong foundation for a successful natural partnership. Uh, since then, it's continued in that way. Uh, so yeah, we've been really happy with how everything's gone. It's been a, a real pleasure to work with Tangerine Bank. So I think just building on uh, what Andrew said in terms of the organizations, I think we're both very purpose-driven companies. So uh, when we first had our initial conversations with Georg and Vinika and the team, very clear to us, they're very purpose-driven, trying to help consumers get ahead with their money, make smarter decisions. And it was very much in line with where we're going as a company too. How do we use uh, smarter applications, smarter features, smarter insights so that our customers can make smart spending decisions and optimize their spending so that they can actually aspire to get to where they want to uh, in terms of their goals uh, and their life events. So it's been a big focus for us. Um, the other thing that was very uh, interesting and intriguing for us as a company was that Munich has a very interesting way that they actually have a business to consumer application that is live in Iceland. So they get great learnings from that that they can then apply to organizations like ours in a business to business type relationship. Uh, so it's actually been good to accelerate our thinking and our evolution as a bank also. As we're entering the US market, more banks are going to want to know how, what your experience was like. So from proof of concept all the way in to the market, what was the process and what have you learned? So for us, our uh, original engagement with Viniga, we did a proof of concept uh, and we stood that proof of concept up within uh, four months. So the ability now categorize transactions in real time, we had running within four months of starting the engagement. And because that was a successful proof of concept, we've continued to build on that as we've built out more digital features around this offering. And to add to that, the proof of concept we do, like in this case, it can be a really good way to just help to align the cultures, the products, to understand more how they work, and just as organizations to understand how could that partnership be. So we often find things like this, doing a proof of concept is a good way to set the foundation for a project going forward.